It's a pretty nice day for the most part. I mean, we had the rain, we had the sun, mm -hmm. wasn't too cold. You know, a day like today is kind of one of my favorites because right. sometimes when the clouds get out of the way, we have these beautiful yeah. rays of sunlight, right. we have these clouds that look amazing, and then the Great photo ops, well. for sure. It definitely yeah. is, yeah. And today was one of those days at Monmouth as we take a look at Western Oregon through a time lapse. Beautiful sunlight, look at that, and then a shot of rain and then a beautiful sunset too. So that was a great start and a great afternoon for the area of Western uh, Oregon there. Here's what we had for the rain totals. Not that much right here in Portland. Most of the heavier rain, some of the downfalls uh, area, downpours rather, along the coast. Tillamook right around two tenths of an inch. Hillsboro about one tenth of an inch. And not much if you're going to the east. So a lot of that heavier rain was there along the coast and that was pretty much through the overnight into the morning hours. Our 40s right now, current temperatures, we will be cooling down to about the lower 40s tonight, so it will be a chillier night and maybe a couple areas falling down to the upper 30s. We still have that northwest flow bringing in some cooler air. The rain, though, is mainly starting to dry on off, so I think tomorrow morning when you're heading out, it'll probably be on the drier side, but we'll leave a chance for some rain showers in there. I'll time that out for you just in one second. Mount Hood Meadows today catching up on some more snowfall. They had that throughout a part of the afternoon into the evening hours, collecting a couple of inches, so it was great to be up there, do some spring skiing, still Still um, catching up on some of that. You know, had very strong storms were along the Great Plains today. Still some strong ones down there by Kansas City. If you knew anyone in this area today, they had some really powerful storms. Hopefully things can start to settle down there. They are here. We're not going to be worrying about anything like that as high pressure is really taken over. And that's going to leave us with some sunshine to come tomorrow afternoon, but also we'll leave it a chance for some uh, rain showers too. So for the remainder of tonight, still a possible spotty shower, especially close to the Cascades, but that's about it. We'll fall down to the 40s as we go into the overnight, and again, I said maybe a chance for some upper 30s out there. Here's 1130 as we uh, get into the overnight hours. It's pretty dry here through the I-5 corridor and in the valley. Shouldn't be worrying about much there. Uh, we head into the overnight hours, mainly just a few clouds out there tomorrow morning for a commute, maybe a drop of rain there on the coast. Most of us should be okay, though. I think we'll be all right for our Monday morning. We get into Monday afternoon. Notice a few spotty rain showers as we start to get some more energy from the sun. But that's about it. So I think tomorrow's going to be a rather quiet day. We'll have some sun breaks out there. We'll have a few clouds and then eventually maybe a quick splash of rain, too. Late Monday night, it dries right back on up. We should start off our Tuesday morning with some dry weather too. So I think most of the rain and the heavier rain is now behind us, but we'll leave a splash in there for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. A dry on Thursday at 64 degrees, and uh, models are looking like we're going to trend upward towards the weekend. Chris bringing in some more warm weather back into the 70s and maybe the 80s. Next yeah, week. we got to enjoy it all we can because as soon as we know it's going to be summer, it's going to be hot. I want to get out there and do some so spring skiing one more time. One more time. I'm sure you got a couple more days in. All right, thanks.